For today's social media paparazzi, Kenneth Kaunda special, we look at Kenneth Kaunda's love for Mama Betty Kaunda. Betty Kaunda, born Beatrice Kaweche Banda on 17th November 1928, was born to Kaweche Banda and Milika Sakala Banda in Pika in what is now known as Muchinga province. Her early education was done at Mereshi Girls, after which she pursued training in a program on women at Mindolo Ecumenical Foundation and later worked as a teacher in Mufulira, Copperbell province. Prior to their marriage, Betty and Kenneth Kaunda had actually never courted before their 45 years of marriage. Dr. Kenneth Kaunda narrated to Owen Mianzi, the host of Zambia Young at 50 television program, on how his mother, who was staying with him at Lubwa Mission in Chinsali, one day informed him to go visit Betty in Pika. He said that his mother, who used to go to the Copper Belt for the ministering of the gospel, would stop over in Pika to see Betty. He also narrated that when Betty was born, both his parents were living in Chinsali and she was received by Dr. Kaunda's mother a piece of information that he received after the marriage. Dr. Kaunda, who was a teacher, disclosed that the decision to marry Betty was made the first day he went to visit her in Pika, adding that a marriage date was later on organized. He said he was very happy with Betty and that they two grew up well together, raising their 10 children plus one adopted one. In his own words in the book he wrote, The Letter to My Children, Kaunda describes Betty as the strength behind him all through their 66 years of relationship as she took care of the children in his absence. The colonial administration had sent Kenneth Kaunda to jail and she took to charcoal burning to feed the family. She is believed to have received multiple threats and coercions during these days, but she never gave up to them or to their threats. In her own words, Betty Kaunda says, the colonial administrators threatened to send us back to the villages after our husbands were arrested, but we refused. She mentioned that the letters she received from her husband during those days were a source of strength to her and motivation. Kenneth Kaunda and Betty were considered front runners in the AIDS eradication in the country. Many scholars appreciated them for leading the way to allow them to be tested for HIV and AIDS and publishing the results. She maintained a calm stature during the struggles when her husband was imprisoned in the early 90s. Betty had been active in opposing the encouragement of political parties to offer beer to youths, reflecting thoughts of her husband who threatened to quit presidency on account of excessive drinking prevalent in the society. She was also involved in collecting donations during a copper mine accident which had left several killed and homeless. She received the Indira Gandhi Nonviolence Award from UNIP for her efforts on the nonviolence and peace missions. Betty, popularly referred to as Mama Betty, led a very simple life as a first lady, and she made significant contributions during the liberation struggle by rendering support to the men who were spearheading the liberation struggle. During her time as first lady, she was involved in a number of charitable initiatives. Mama Betty passed away at the age of 83 on 18th September 2012 while visiting her daughter in Harare, Zimbabwe. She left behind at the time her spouse, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, eight children and 30 grandchildren with 11 great-grandchildren. She is definitely a soul to be celebrated and reminisced. That was all for today's social media paparazzi, Kenneth Kaunda's.